Rangity Golf Club South Devon. Then I'm just going to sort of run by um, you my ideas of trying to hit the driver a little bit lower into the wind, or especially if you've got the wind maybe coming off the left side or the right side, so you can sort of control the golf ball a little bit more. Um, I've got my Callaway Fusion Big Bertha driver set at nine degrees. Use the same golf ball. So I'm just going to hit a couple of golf balls I would normally sort of set up to the golf ball and how I would <coughs> sort of normally swing the golf club if the weather conditions are pretty calm. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the shot now. I'm going to take my set up position. Ball position is slightly further forward, um, near your left heel, etc. I'm going to hit up on the golf ball. I'll then probably tend to maybe tilt my spine back sort of slightly behind the golf ball again. That's going to help me hit up on it a little bit more. Drivers nowadays are designed to get the ball sort of high as you can with the correct launch angle, correct spin rate, etc. That's sort of the depending on strike, uh, shaft flex, if you've got the correct shaft, etc. So I'm going to hit a couple now just with my normal swing, my normal setup. I'm trying to really feel I'm going to flip the ball off the top of the tee peg there. So I'd look to probably see them sort of go around probably between 32 and around about 38 yards in the air um, with my shots. So that carried 270, rolled out to 290. A little bit lack of target. A little one more. So that's my bad shot when I turn it over a little bit left, but I'm trying to fight against that at the moment. Uh, it's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to hit one more. Try and use the same ball every time. So it's really important when conditions aren't kind on the golf course, you can you can control the ball flight. Especially in this golf course, the front line's quite exposed. So, let's hit one more. Much better, best strike out of three. Carry 274. Really good. Well, up to noon 295, so I'll take that. So, just have a look at the, the average of those three shots. You might be able to see it on the, the white screen there, but if not, I'll just run through them. So, average height on those, peak height was 38 yards, okay? My launch angle is 13.7, so just remember those numbers. I'm just going to now just try and get that flight down a little bit. I'll just change the, the colour on here of what club we're going to use. So, we just get... so now what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and hit the golf ball a lot lower with the driver. Okay, so exactly the same driver, same loft, same shaft, same grip, same ball, etc. So now we've got the wind blowing into our face or from left to right, etc. So you want to control the golf ball, okay? We're trying to hit it lower, all right? So what we want to try and do, possibly tee the golf ball a little bit lower than what you're compared to doing. Um, that's playing around on the practice ground or drive range, etc. So on here, it's a little bit difficult to do that on the practice, or on, sort of on, the, on the mat here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is well, move the ball a little bit further back in my stance and I don't want to be getting that hitting up on the golf ball feeling, okay, where everybody's trying to achieve that for a driver because we want to hit it as high as we can, as far as we can, etc. Hit up on the golf ball with a driver helps us to achieve those goals. So now what we're going to try and do is we want to feel as though we're going to take the loft off the golf club, okay. So as I'm coming in through the golf ball impact, I want to feel as though my hands and the hands of the golf club are leading the club head a little bit more. That's going to take the loft off the golf club. So from two foot behind and two foot past the golf ball, I'm trying to keep the club as low as to the ground as possible. Okay, so here we go, I'm going to hit a shot. So I'm going to visualize the shot a little bit lower compared to the previous shots. Here we go. As I come through, I'm going to try and keep nice and low before the golf ball. As I come through, nice and low to the ground. So it's really important when you're having lessons or when you're improving and practicing yourself, getting on a GC2 monitor or something like that, etc. Gives you your spin rates, launch angles. It helps with miss hits. What's, what's my spin rates doing if I don't hit it out in the middle of the club? Because hitting your golf ball in the middle is really important, okay? 
Um, that's depending on strike, it's depending on spin rates, etc., and direction. So here we go, I'm going to try and achieve that lower shot into the wind. Okay. Carry 247. Only launched it at 8.3. Whereas previously, I think it was about 13, 14 degrees launch. Okay. But it's rolled out to 270. Much, much lower. Pick one more. Okay. That is perfect. That's what I'm trying to achieve. Especially on the front line where it's a lot sort of exposed, um, more than golf, and sort of typically linked golf. You want to get that ball going a lot lower. Here we go. One more. So nice and low through the impact area. Not trying to get up and hit up on the ball. So I'm not having my shoulders tilted back too much. I'm trying to keep my shoulders quite parallel to the ground. And I'm going to really hit this one a little bit lower. All slightly further back. Here we go. Low and low. Same again. Launched at 8.9 degrees. Carry 256. Roll out to 279. Okay, take that anywhere on any golf course. Uh, nice and straight, not much curvature on the golf course. You can check out now the um, numbers, etc., on these shots I've just hit. There we go. So those shots have hit there. Peak height 25 yards compared to, I believe, a lot, lot higher. So high 30s compared to the, my previous shots. So hopefully that sort of helped understanding of what you need to do within your swing um, to get the golf ball a lot lower. Okay, it's slightly different for irons, etc. But I hope that's helped. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.